Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to Growing Wisdom. And today we're coming to you from San Diego County and I'm with Steve Hammer. And Steve is an expert of South African succulents. And we're gonna to talk today about uh, these little stone plants. And I'm gonna let you tell a little bit about them and they are pretty awesome. So Steve, thanks for doing this with us. And tell me a little bit about your business and how long you've been doing this and you know your specialty. I discovered these in 1961 when I was 10 years old. I went to a place called Johnson's Cactus Gardens, which was famous in the 60s. And Harry Johnson had a collection of lithops. He had about 50 of them, and he propagated them. He got them from South Africa. And I was introduced to him because I went there to look for cacti. And I discovered he had a wonderful cactus collection, but he also had a very significant collection of lithops and other South African succulents. And I went mad, there's no other way to put it. Uh, by, the time, by the time I left there, I was converted for life. And it hasn't, uh, 60 years ago, and it hasn't really changed a bit. Um, meanwhile, they grew bigger, very much bigger, as you can see, to the point where I grow and propagate thousands of them. And other people do too. Um, back in the uh, 70s, I was a rarity, but now I'm commonplace. Uh, I just have some that other people don't have. If you could summarize over the course of the year how to water these, what would be the way that you would advise? Well, the way I do it here, which is Southern California, which is, of course, the sunny land, uh, they need quite a bit of water when they've absorbed the old leaves, which is going to be between April and June. And from June until September, they're busy with another process altogether. They're making flower buds. The flower buds occur deep in the body and they slowly come up to the top. Uh, during that process, they don't need a great deal of water. Uh, they, don't need, they don't even necessarily want it. Uh, but when they are flowering, which is gonna be September, October, November, they, they do like water. And then after they flower, they make a, a seed pod or a fruit. And after that, they don't need any water at all because the recycling process is continued. And that goes on for about four months. So it's a periodic watering and then resting situation. Steve, that was really fascinating. I mean, I was not familiar with these until uh, one of my friends up at Colby introduced me to these plants, and now I've, I've met the guru, the master, uh, and we thank you, and thanks for watching this edition of Growing Wisdom.